Hey, you guys got a sec? I need to talk to you about something. Whatever it is, can wait, Rosie, you're gonna wanna see this. Question, what is the number one problem with the coronavirus? Mass death, economic collapse, the way the disease has exposed the systemic injustice at the core of American life. Well, yes, obviously those, but after that, it's how to high five your friends while staying six feet apart. But now the world can stop their worrying because we have created the COVID-5. With this machine, you can execute any high five your heart desires. There's the classic. Slip me some skin. <laughs> sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle, sprinkle me, sprinkle. The Vulcan scissor. That's a bad one. Yeah. And of course, the need for speed. Wow, that was impressively stupid. I know, right? Uh, so what was it you wanted to tell me? Just wanted to say goodbye. I turned in my resignation. I quit the force. What? Oh! Ow! Ah! Dude, that was by far your best five. You're quitting? Hey, everybody. I got your text. This is a big emergency. We need to talk about Captain Holt's love life. Yeah. Come on, you miss getting dragged into your coworkers' personal lives, admit it. It's true, I have. What's going on? Captain Holt is in pain, and we need to help him get back together with Kevin. No, we don't. Holt is a very private person. We shouldn't get involved. OK, you guys probably don't know this, but my parents got divorced when I was a kid, and it really messed me up. Oh yeah, my God. What, do I talk about it a lot? It doesn't matter. The point is, we can't let that happen to Daddy Holt and Daddy Kevin. So we're just dispensing with subtext now? Yes, this workplace is my family. Was that not clear? Holt is my dad, you're my mean older sister, Amy's my mom. Um, what? What? What did I say? You said Amy is my mom. Yeah, nobody said anything. We don't have time for this, Amy. Now, who's going to help me parent trap Holt and Kevin? Seriously? Nobody's on board with my scheme? Is it because I called it a scheme? I can say something different. Nobody's on board with my stratagem? Nope. So, no. Look, Holt just needs us to be there for him. Help him take his mind off of Kevin. He's always inviting us to his lake house to go bird watching, but we never do it because it's, you know, bird watching. We could finally go. He would love that. Wow, stabbed in the back by my own mom. What? Wife! I said wife! Why do you keep not hearing me? Whatever, let's just do Terry's plan. For most people, a burrito is a delicious meal wrapped in a tortilla. But for one NYPD officer, it turned out to be a mouse wrapped in a nightmare. So I order a grande steak, I get back to my car, take a big bite, and crunch. That's when I see it. A dead mouse. A dead mouse that Franco Sullivan, the president of the Patrolman's Union, says was put there on purpose. This was an act of political violence organized by a group of radical anti-cop Antifa anarchists working out of the Burrito Haven. This is bogus. The officer called in a to-go order under the name Tom. The restaurant had no idea he was a cop when they made the food or packed the bag. So clearly, he wasn't targeted for being a police officer. I've always wanted to try mouse meat. I hear it's really tasty. From who? The union made it up as a power move. O'Sullivan wants me to issue a statement of public support for the officer to give them all extra hazard pay and to wear this never forget burrito ribbon. Weird. It's the exact same color as my colorblind awareness ribbon. No, it isn't. I won't give in to any of their demands. The union is powerful, but I'm sure that most of our uniformed officers understand this incident is nonsense. It is, as Peralta would say, no big whoop. Oh, I appreciate the shout out, sir, but I actually don't pronounce the H in whoop. Sir, all the uniformed officers just left. They're staging a walkout. Well, it seems I was wrong. The whoop is big after all. It, it is. Again, though, there's, there's no H in whoop. It, it's silent. Whoop. 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 Am I crazy? How do you say it? Say whoop. Okay. Listen up, everyone. We had a murder this morning. The Vic was found at 845 by a dog walker who let herself into his apartment. Oh, my God, it's Franzia. This is the work of Johnny Franzia, my white whale. He's finally resurfaced. Not this again. Yes, this again. Johnny Franzia has been on a murder spree for the past 10 years, and every time he kills someone, he taunts me. Look, there's a deck of cards. You say that whenever there's cars at a crime scene. You know how many people own cars, Jake? Then explain this. Johnny Franzia's catchphrase is deuces are wild. Now look around the apartment. Two chairs. Two paintings, two pillows. There are three lamps. You think Franzia gives a damn about lamps? You sound so dumb right now. This is why you don't have an arch nemesis, Terry, because you focus on the wrong details. Maybe I don't have an arch nemesis because I solve all my crimes. That's a pretty up thing to say to me. <sighs> Parenting is exhausting. You're tired because you were up until five in the morning playing a game on your phone. It's not a game. It's a realistic pizza parlor simulator. <laughs> it's very different. There's no winning. Then why do you play? To earn pizza points to get better toppings. What's up, Peralta? Hey, Trudy Judy and Dog Judy. What's going on? Are you puppy sitting for Doug? Well, I was, but I need you to take him for me because I'm going on a little vacay. And let's just say there's going to be some activities that aren't suitable for a little dog. Mm. 
like parasailing. Huh, thought you were building to something much more sexual. Nope, just really pumped for parasailing. Also, there's gonna be a lot of but the dog's okay with that here. Mm. Oh, as much as we would love to take care of this extremely unneutered animal, we can't because I'm too allergic. Wait, why isn't Doug Judy taking care of Dog Judy? Is he out of town or something? Oh, no, you didn't hear. Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Wait, what? Doug got arrested. He's going to prison. Yeah, no, I heard you. I was just processing. Oh, you want to hug a dog? Oh, my God. It's like a third of him. Attention, everyone. A bomb was just found on a bus in downtown Brooklyn. Oh, my God, a bomb on a bus. It's a speed? I get to work a speed? That sentence is nonsensical. One can work with speed, but one certainly cannot work a speed. Speed is a movie. I won't let you ruin this. Oh, really, never seen speed, sir? Keanu Reeves, Sandy Bullock, Jack Daniels at the height of his sexual power? Can we please just focus? The bomb could go off at any moment. Actually, it can't. It's already been diffused. Oh, well, there's still a bomber on the loose. You can't ruin this. All right, tell me about the bus. Was it headed to the courthouse? It wasn't an MTA bus. It was that. A marvelous Mrs. Maisel tour bus. No, you're not ruining this. Has anyone heard from the bomber? Has he made any demands? Oh, Special Agent Feingold, FBI. This is our case. You're not a part of it. Oh, man, you ruined it. Good morning, Cousin Tommy. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Mel. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Sam. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Tommy. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Becca. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Sam. I love you. Good morning, Pappy Boyle. I love you. Good morning, Becca. I love you. Ooh, extra long hug. What got into you this morning, Pappy? Pappy? Happy? <laughs> Lastly, on a personal note, as many of you know, Kevin and I have recently reconciled. Noise! Somebody's getting some. It's true, I am. Now, when we originally wed, we didn't know how long gay marriage would be legal, so we had a somewhat rushed ceremony. Do you, Kevin? Yes. And do you? Yes, yes, we do. We're married. Kevin has always regretted it, so we're having a vow renewal ceremony. This time, we're pulling out all the stops. It will be a truly extravagant affair. Oh, how extravagant are we talking? Champagne pyramid? Destination wedding? Celebrity officiant? We got the salad forks. Can you believe it, a second fork? Who do we think we are? <laughs> Oh, no. You're shocked at how garish it is. Now I don't even want to tell you the other surprise I have in store for Kevin. Wait, let me guess. You're getting bread plates? Don't be absurd. We're not crazy. No, the big surprise is I'm retiring from the NYPD. Wait, what? Why did you lead with the salad forks? Terry loves waking up. Terry loves waking up. Terry... Morning, honey. Tell no! me. Oh! What the hell are you doing? It's Holt Navy's last day, so we're having a final heist. It's heist day! Couldn't you have just sent an email? Nope, this was the only way. I have to go alert the others. See you soon! It's heist day, Rosa! Ah! Whoop, sorry about your milk. Gotta go! Nico, it's time for school. It's heist day, Charles! Where's Nico? She's crying in the closet. Gotta go! Babe, what are you doing? I was hiding so I could surprise you, but if you're here, then who's in our shower? It's me, Captain Holt. It's heist day, Jake. Oh!